Hi guys, Ebony here. Welcome back to White Crow to Row. We're here to do career and finance readings for all signs for the month of December. This is going to be kind of like a pick a card style. Now, just before I get into it, I want to note that I really want to thank the people who, the signs who really have contributed the most to my channel out the gate. We have number one, Aquarius, second, Pisces, and third, Libra three signs who really truly contributed to my pay to this to this channel out of the gate and I really want to thank you that's why I'm doing your readings first that comes in with the most views likes and comments on on the readings. so what you guys give to me I want to make sure that I am giving back to you so I really want to thank you for that all right guys again quick note quick disclaimer and I have to say it because not everything will resonate with you and it's important sometimes that it does not okay it's okay that these readings don't necessarily resonate with you take what resonates leave what does not that's the only rule here at white crow to row okay <laughs> all right <laughs> fountain to row show savage what do they need to know what do they need to know regarding their dreams no, we just did their dreams. What do they need to know? Paint a clear story for me. Paint a clear story for me, please, Fountain Tarot. What does Sag need to know? Show me the current energy, please, for Sagittarius. Show me the current energy, please. Jumpers, please. Appreciate that. All right, a little negative. Depression. Going on, looking at spilled cups. Uh, business, I'm feeling... There's a situation at work currently going on that uh, it feels unequal. I'm just going to tell you that. It just feels you could be fine. You could either be very negative, okay? And you feel this unequalness going on or you it's either happening to you or you literally could be the thing. So clarify, okay? <laughs> it's unbalanced though, that's for sure. Because you've got a perfectly good two of cups standing behind you, but your back is to it right now. All right, there's good things for you at work, but your back is to it right now, you can't see it. All right, you're focusing on the negative. This is literally what this card tells me every time I see it. It's too much emphasis on what's going wrong and not enough emphasis on what's going right. So, I, so if there is nothing going right in your mind, because that's all you can see right now, then it's in trying to tell you to look, look where the positives are. Take a beat and look where the positives are in the situation. What else? What's going on? For Sag. What do you need jumpers, please? I need clear and accurate messages for my Sagis. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? For Sag. Show me clearly. Yeah, hiding, 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 hiding. Why, why, why? Show me. All right. Seven of Swords. There's some secrets going on. Secrecy and hiding. There's possibly a liar in there somewhere. You know, this Seven of Swords encompasses all of it. Okay? And I'm feeling the energy of this right now. I feel it. I, I don't know what is going on, but it's like you're pissed pissed off energy like pissed okay put you in a negative you know something is being held from you or kept from you or you are doing it one of the two okay what else you want to offer love to the situation you do you want it and you want it to, to be given back to you with this Two of Cups as well, okay? You want to offer love to the situation. You're coming out. You do. You literally want to offer love to the situation that's going on at work. But there's secrecy here. There's some secrets going on. And you want to come at the situation, I feel like, fair, equal. Could even to be due with a spouse. You could be having issues with your spouse right now.
it, it, it feels like whatever's going on in the home is affecting your emotional stability at work right now. There's just a lot of emotions and thoughts going on right now. I'm not seeing any like coin for you yet, but it's like, I feel like whatever you're processing internally right now is really showing up at work. It's showing up for you. But you want balance. You want this balance. Show me Sag's strengths, please. This definitely could be with a boss figure, the higher font. Could be a boss figure that you're dealing with. Okay. It's in your strength, though. You could be the boss. You literally could be the the boss of this, right? All right. Boss comes with challenges, you know. You got people to run, things to. Okay, it's all that knight, knight of swords. I'm not going to take it though. But you've got things to manage. And you can't go in your weakness category. I know that the temptation for you to run and consider and, and consider other options is always tempting. It's always tempting. When stuff doesn't feel like it's going right, you, the, the inclination is to run and consider new options. Seven of Cups. This is in your weakness. You, okay. Some of you are either dealing with a Libra or Taurus. The Empress. Libra, Taurus embodies this card. Some of you could be dealing with this person at work. Or you want, again, it feels like whatever's going on at home is affecting the work. Possibly to do with this person. Doesn't literally have to be a Libra or Taurus. It just could, it could be someone with Libra or Taurus in their chart. You know what I mean? <sighs> to get better in my career, yes. Scott, thank you. Yes. All right. But it's, effect, it's just something at home, which is wanting you to consider new options, is affecting your work-life balance right now. There's secrets you feel, or you're keeping them, okay? But you want a balance. You want to share two of cups again in this work-life balance. I do feel that. Show me the future for Saj. Show me. Judgment in reverse. Judgment. Why? Because there's a love offer here. Ace of Cups. There's love here in this. Okay, have a new perspective on it. I want to feel like telling you. Judgment in reverse. You don't want to judge the situation too soon. That's why I feel maybe you're just keeping this to yourself right now. Because there is real love here. There's a real love in what you do. You're committed. You are committed to what you're doing here. You have love for it. The highest love there is. Ace of Cups. It's solid. Your intuition, okay, is in reverse. This high priestess, your intuition is telling you to trust it. Trust your intuition. You feel like you can't right now. You don't know quite what to think, but... That's just what I'm getting. Okay. What's the advice for Satch? What's the advice, please? What's the advice, please? Come at this, Queen of Wands, with your fire passion, okay? To avoid this tower that we do not want to happen unless you do because the universe will intervene if it must to shake things up it always does but it's in reverse like you don't even want this to happen you want to be stable or maybe it's happened already and that's why there's all this energy on the board right now okay
Okay. Three of Swords. So they you suspect that there's a third party situation going on here? Or it could be to do with a third party. Third party doesn't have to literally be like adultery, okay? <laughs> or cheating or any of that. It literally could be a third party situation interfering in your work life balance, all right? And that's maybe why this tower hasn't happened yet. What's going on, Sag? Doubt. Your soul journey card says, I release the need to know all the answers. I release the need to know all the answers. Doubt. And your dream card. Ah. Oh. Departed loved ones, you are loved more than you'll ever know. Departed loved ones, that's what your dreams are telling you. You are loved more than you'll ever know. Uh, you know, I just got another energy from this. Like, I feel like this is the higher font. I feel like this is a business you took over. Could have even been from like your dad or someone higher than you. You were gonna consider other options, but you know, maybe you went down this situation. Anyway, I'll have to save that for another reading, guys. That was this is I, trust this process, Sag. Gosh, love you guys. I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know. A lot of laughing going on downstairs all signs this was your reading i hope it was beneficial to you please let me know how it resonated for you down in the comments on the live i appreciate you all for chiming in for this full live segment thank you guys again you can now follow white crow to row on facebook and instagram you can also follow myself at i am ebony wilson please do let me know how this sign resonated for you how this reading resonated for you down in the comments i will leave the time codes you can find those in the description below thanks guys